Um, you know, we knew it was going to be a really tough game. We knew it was. I mean, uh, Wheaton one has an amazing tradition, um, but this season they've come through a very tough CCIW conference. Uh, so we knew it was going to be just a, a heck of a fight physically. Um, they're, they're both very physical teams, very fast teams. Um, so, I mean, we knew it was going to be a tough battle coming in. I'm just very excited about our guys um, being able to uh, um, kind of weather the storm at times because there's no doubt they can throw some things at you offensively and defensively. I mean, boy, that Mike Backer, holy buckets, that guy. I thought there was two of him out there at times, um, you know, just flying around and making a lot of big things happen. Another good start for you. I mean, obviously you gave up the, the early touchdown, but to have three, um, three in a row, that's got to be good for you guys. No doubt, and I mean, and that's um, getting that fast start. That's such a big deal to us, and, and just trying to grab the tempo of a game and grab that momentum. Um, and for us to do that, I mean, the disappointing thing, and then I even said it at, you know, after the game here. As coaches, you know, we're never happy. Um, second half, we didn't. We had too many opportunities that we like to go, um, and, and that that'll come up and bite you. Um, in, in this type of, uh, you know, you make it a top 16 teams. We're fortunate that it didn't bite us today. Coach, how do you feel about how your team's executing at this point in the season? You know, that's something that, I mean, to me, um, that's something that we always focus on trying to get better at every week. Um, and, and so, I mean, that's something that I think offensively we've been really clicking. It was really good for us. I know today, defensively, I was really excited to see us get into kind of a throw thing. We've had a lot of teams that have been kind of run orientated, and really the first half of the game was freely in, in all reality. Um, it was good to see us have to execute in a pass situation, whether it's our pass rush, whether it's our coverages, and those things. And to see them improve during the course of a game, I felt like we got better during the course of the game with some of the things we were trying to do with some of the coverages. Zach, if you can follow up on that about uh, pass coverage for you guys today. Uh, well, the secondary, they, uh, you know, they did their job, you know. When the quarterback's back there looking frantic and sees nobody open, you know, he, that gives us more time and able to get more sacks, you know, and that's what we want. Yeah, talk a little bit more about the, the physicality of that game because there are a lot of big hits. I don't know, Jordan took mm -hmm. one. I'm glad to see he was walking up the field okay, but you know, those were some battles out there. Yeah, they're a very physical team. They're also a very fast team, so and uh, just like our offense as well. So, I mean, we're used to playing against an offense like that. And, you know, it was just a really great physical game. Yeah, good transition yeah. to you, Jordan. Um, offensively, three touchdowns. Like I said before. Um, but, you know, just talk about the <laughs> quarter and especially the offensive line help. Because um, especially in that second touchdown, you had a, a great gap going in there. Um, just coming in the game, we knew it was going to be a tough team. Um, we know they were ranked probably, I think, top five in the nation in defense. So coming out, we know we had to come out punching and swinging. Um, we knew coming out, nothing was going to be easy. We got to earn it. And um, the O-line did that. Um, they really came out and fought. Uh, they, they fought. The receivers, they, they did really good downfield blocking for me and uh, getting gaps open for me. So um, um, my hat's off to those guys. Uh, take pride in that. And, um, I'm proud of them today. Jordan, you didn't get much of a break today. 38 carries on the field. Uh, a whole lot, obviously. How do you feel? Um, surprisingly, I feel really good. Um, just nicks and bruises, but nothing too serious. Um, I didn't even know I had 38 carries, so uh, surprisingly, I do feel really good. Uh, <laughs> I can probably go out there and run some more if I have to. <laughs> Coach, it's pretty safe to say it's not one of the cleanest games we've seen from your team, um, especially early with some of those turnovers. And no doubt. I mean, that, that's, you know, you talk about things that concern you, I mean, as a coach, and, and those are the things that your mind gravitate to immediately. Um, and, and for all of us, not just me, I mean, all of our coaches, um, you know, put, giving the ball away. No way. I mean, that, that can't be something that we do. That cannot be an option for us. That hasn't been a reoccurring theme for us. I'm not ready to hit the panic button. Does that make sense? Yeah. But yet, obviously, that's something that we got to, you know, nip it in the butt, I guess, or whatever you want to say um, in, in that sense, because that's obviously, uh, you know, that can only uh, get more dangerous as games get closer and, and, uh, and not getting some of those uh, short yards. We had one that we had a short fourth and, and, and one, and we didn't get that. Those, those are the types of things we got to be able to finish on and, and take a lot of pride in. Now, that's the beauty of football. You, you don't ever walk out of a game and look at it, grade it, and say, wow, I guess everybody graded at A's. We're all good now. That's never the case. 
the case is always that we're building. We're always in a constant process of building and, and building to get better and, and to execute better. I mean, so that's just one more thing on the list that's got to get better uh, this week. And we, you know, we're very fortunate. We got one more week to get better at that stuff. But I say whether you guys acknowledge it or not, Captain, have been looking at Oshkosh at the other end of this bracket. They won big today. What's your thinking? Your feeling going into facing them again next week? Really excited. Really excited. I mean, um, got nothing but the greatest respect for um, you know Coach Cerrone and, and Oshkosh. A lot of those guys. I mean, our players. You know, both from Wisconsin. So I mean, a lot of these guys know each other and friends. And Coach Pat's a friend of mine. I've known Pat a long time, and, and a number of guys in his staff. So to us, it's, it, this is awesome. This is, you, you couldn't have scripted it better. Um, we're excited about it. We lost to them earlier in this season in, in a hard-fought game, and to have an opportunity to go out and compete against somebody again. You, that doesn't happen in college football very often, so that's uh, we're, we're very fortunate to be in this position.